Hi, I'm CJ with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So we have a brand new 2023 Logan Coach Stockman 26 foot combo. This is a really cool trailer. These we've stock combos have really evolved over the last couple of years. Um, you know, from just like a four foot straight tack and a 20 and 24 foot to now 26 foot trainer tack, IntelliTacks, uh, dual man doors. I mean, about anything and everything you can dream of. But we're starting to notice that these trailers sell so much better and people are wanting these so much more loaded up than just a standard stock combo. So this Logan's gonna have a lot of cool features to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing. I'll show you some specs on it. Like I mentioned, 26 foot on the floor. We have a trainer tack with a front tack room. It's a five foot short wall. This one is standard 7.3 wide and standard seven foot tall. Now you can do extra wide and extra tall if you wanna go down that, that path to build a trailer, or we can set these up about any way you want. But this is an extremely well optioned trailer. Uh, we've got a couple different versions of this, either on hand or on order at all times. Um, but when you're looking at a Logan, you're looking at a galvanized steel frame aluminum body. So why is that important? Galvanized steel will not rust like black steel will. It's stronger, more durable. You have a lifetime corrosion warranty being the single owner um, of this trailer when you purchase it new. You're also going to get an eight year structure warranty and a two year hitch to bumper warranty. And then you're going to have a one year no questions asked warranty on your tires through the vendor that Logan uses. But Let's take a look at this and we'll start walking you through some of the options. One of the very first things when you walk up to a Logan that you're gonna notice, in my opinion, is this Vortex lining. So Vortex lining is like a bed liner. It's really strong, it's really durable. They use it throughout the trailer. Uh, it, I think it helps with just overall strength in areas. Uh, it also will deaden a lot of the noise when we get into the stall area itself. So bigger trailer. We opted to go ahead and upgrade to a hydraulic jack. It's awesome because you can push a button and up down this trailer goes rather than having to crank this up. Again, with it being a 26 footer, a little bit bigger, it's going to take a little bit more to hand crank it up and down. But push a button up, down it goes. Fantastic. We went ahead and put the battery box on the trailer itself. Um, the aluminum battery box just to kind of protect everything we have going on back here. You do have room to put a second battery if you'd like. And then we actually added the battery disconnect to the setup. Because what we don't want is we don't want to accidentally leave one of these tack lights on, drain the battery down, then come to this and have a dead battery to actually try to get it on the truck. So by having that disconnect, when we park this trailer, I can reach up there and just turn it to the off position. If we accidentally left the light on, no problem. It's not going to drain the battery. It just kills all power to this trailer. Speaking of lights, this is a cool one underneath here. It's underneath the actual gooseneck itself. We can actually manipulate where we actually get that, that light coverage. Um, and then our switch is actually up here in the corner on driver's side. So you can actually lean over your truck bed and turn this on and off from that switch right there. But what happens is our, our cargo light on our truck, the back of the cab gets blocked by the nose here. So if we had to do something, maybe get that spare off, maybe we're doing something with the battery, something with the jack, just hooking up in general, you can actually turn that light on and have some more light coverage throughout the trailer. We, you'll notice a, a pattern when we start walking through this trailer. We put a lot of lights, added a lot of lights for you. Now, this is kind of what separates this trailer from a lot of stock combos out there. Check that out. Trainer tack, dual doors, nice big wide open setup, um, easy to access, saddles, blankets, bridles, anything you want. So with the dual doors, we made them match. You have hooks across each door, a brush tray across each door. What you'll actually do is actually shut the right one first and then the left one over the paddle latch. And then we even added some steps. So if you're grabbing your saddle up high, you have a little bit more leverage getting up there to up by it rather than flat footed or even having to step up on this running board. That's a pretty big distance there. It cuts it in half. These guys just fold up and actually lay on the actual running board themselves. But we carpeted everything. So carpeted the, the doors, carpeted all the walls just to kind of protect 
what we're throwing in there, whether it's those saddles, whether it's those expensive bits, anything like that. We don't want them actually rubbing as we're driving down the road on those aluminum sheets. The other cool thing about this setup is, if you notice, there's a rail high and low that all these saddle racks, the actual posts and then the blanket poles, the posts of those set in. So if I wanted to manipulate or change the sequence, I can. If I want my saddles in the middle and blankets on the outside, I can just flip them around or I can do every other if I'd like. So there's a lot of flexibility within this setup here. A uh, couple other things we have back around the corner, we put a corner water tank. That way you can keep some fresh water on hand. Maybe the hydrant's a long ways away if you're at an event. It's nice to be able to just fill up a bucket right here. Maybe you're traveling with a dog, fill up theirs. Even just rinse your hands if you need to. Something along those lines. It's just gravity feed. You fill at the top. I like to put a hose with a ball valve on the outside and just fill your buckets up out here. But that's the other thing is you have a lot of floor space. Even with, you know, the having two four-tier saddle racks, um, you know, our blankets, everything's not going to hang down too low. So if you wanted to throw some buckets, some smaller items down on the floor, you can. But that is such a cool setup. And really, we didn't make this trailer that much bigger. Um, on a lot of our, if you look at the standard 24 foot combos with the slant wall, they usually go with about a four foot nine short wall. So we just went five foot. So really from the footprint of this on a slant wall combo, we only added three inches. So where we added was in that stall area. We wanted to give you a little bit more stall space. That's why we went 26 foot on this and has been extremely well you know, received from customers. So lights, if you look above that tack, we put an eight inch awning light there. We put a second one kind of about middle of wheel well area. And then we actually went in and added more button lights. This is a nice looking trailer. So we want it to dress it up a little bit when we're running at night, you know, a lot of lights is pretty cool. We've got customers that'll build them, you know, about every foot, every two foot apart. A lot of lights, looks like a chicken hauler. It does look pretty cool at nighttime. Now, we went with two air gaps with plexiglass. So we went in and added the plexiglass for you. If you want to remove it, it's real simple. There's just an aluminum piece at the back. Just take a couple screws out, slide them out, store them somewhere in the trailer safe, put that hardware back in. That way it's safe and sound where it needs to be. And um, that way, if you want to open it up for a little bit more airflow running in the hot summer months, or if you want to seal it up a little bit more, and it's actually tinted as well, so we're not getting that sunshine directly down on animals. Uh, that is, sometimes we do have some customers that'll run maybe a, an upper gap open with the lower covered or vice versa. A lot of different uh, options you can go with as far as that setup there. Now, two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles. We went with a 16 inch black wheel with silver accent. It works really well with this color pattern. When we get to the other side, I'll shut up the tack door so you can see it's a silver uh, trailer. You get a lot of the black as far as with the plexiglass. So I think it ties in really well, these, these actual wheels themselves. And, the, and they are aluminum. Uh, the spares in aluminum as well. And one of the last things that we did was we upgraded these tires from a 10 ply to a 14 ply. We just felt like, hey, a little bit bigger trailer. Let's go ahead and make sure you got some big running gear underneath it uh, with a heavier duty tire. So 14 plies on this one, 16 inch, eight lugs. And then you have electric brakes on this setup as well. Now, as we get to the back, there's multiple options you can go with on these back gates. And this one here, the one that's been most received, most popular, are the dual 50-50s. So they're dual 50-50 gates. They're independent. The only difference is the left-hand door has a little bit of a weather strip on it, a little bit of a rubber. That way, when we go ahead and shut them up, that little bit of a gap, we're not actually trying to pull moisture in as you're driving or dust as you're driving. So what I want you to notice, speaking of dust, is look at the tops of those gates. You're gonna notice no air gaps. We really like to put emphasis of no air gaps on the back of these trailers, whether we're doing this type of a setup, a single gate full width, or even a gate with a slider. Because what happens, and if you live down dirt roads, you're gonna know this, or if you've traveled down them, the back of a passenger vehicle, whether it's a truck, 
SUV, car, and these trailers, if you go to the back of them, you'll notice dust just kind of accumulates on the back because it swirls at the back of the trailer. What it actually will try to do is we'll actually try to suck back into the trailer itself. And the last thing we want is we want our animals sucking in a bunch of dust, given, you know, possibly messing with respiratory issues there. So we like the no, no air gaps. You can do plexiglass uh, air gaps as well on these. These here, we just opted for the solid um, with no air gaps on that for that reason. Eight inch awning light at the back. So you do have another light at the back and then LEDs on the inside of the trailer that we'll show you. They're all on an individual switch. So I can turn on the exterior lights and I can turn on the interior lights with a single switch as well. Now, here we are in the staller. We got a lot of different things going on. And from the drawing, you noticed it. Very first thing let's start talking about is the setup in here. If you notice, we've got a divider, partial divider, padded on each side. Then we have a center gate. So from that partition wall to the center gate is just over six foot six. So those are, that would be standard stalls on a slant load horse trailer. So with this center gate, that divider, and then the stud divider at number one here. So it goes clear to the ground, padded as well on it. But each one of these stalls is gonna again be standard size of a slant load trailer. Now, what's so cool about this is we just wanted to give you a lot of flexibility and a lot of options. So you basically have stud divider at one, stud divider at two, because you have your center gate. And then from there, you can start working back with horses if you want to stack them that way. The other cool thing is, is you and a buddy or you and a friend, whoever, just if you get two of you, we can actually unpin these dividers. And the only reason you need two is just because it's long and awkward as far as the size but we can pull these up out of the pins and take these dividers out and then you have a bigger box stall again a little over six foot six and then we've got a big stall at the back so kind of more of that traditional stock combo type setup but we just wanted you to have the versatility and that's what i think a lot of customers in today's market want you know sometimes they want to haul horses we need to be able to separate them. Sometimes you're gonna haul some livestock. Maybe you're gonna throw some roping calves in here, haul some pairs, different items like that. Maybe you wanna throw a four wheeler in here. Maybe you got a mare and a foal that you want a little bit of a box stall to give them a little bit bigger size and talk about just the ease of being able to do what you need and want with this trailer, with this type of a setup. So again, what's so cool is we've got stud divider, solid gate, partial divider behind it. So really what we're looking at is more of a, a traditional slant load from that standpoint, but then we can easily flip it over to an actual stock combo. So vortex lining, again, we talked about it underneath the gooseneck. You'll notice it throughout the stall here on the walls, on the upright posts. There's a tie rail on each side between the two air gaps because when you go to tie up a horse, with plexiglass in, I can't throw a lead rope around this post because of the plexiglass. So you've got this tie rail again, the length on each side between those two air gaps to be able to do what you want there. Uh, again, what we're talking about is standard width on a Logan is 7.3. So you get a little bit of a wheel well on each side, but again, you get that extra width compared to your most common, you know, six, nine to seven foot wide trailers. Uh, Again, you'll have a little bit of wheel well. You have to account for that because all we've done is really push the box out. But it's nice to have that extra width that makes these stalls a little bit longer for your horses as well. But then you have these paddle latch, slam latches for the dividers, the gate themselves, safer for you, safer for the animals. It's recessed into the wall itself. Uh, so it protects everything there. We don't have anything sticking out or protruding from that standpoint. Now, one of the other things that's so cool about these in my opinion, this is the, self, the best self-draining floor on the market. And that's because of all the steps that Logan's done. So what we have is underneath this porous floor that you see, this rubber mat here, is we have aluminum planks that run the length of this trailer. They kind of look like a two by four, but they're put on an angle. Um, and then they're vortex lined. So urine never makes contact with the aluminum itself. It'll work its way through this porous rubber flooring here and just out the trailer it goes. So cleanup is really easy. You don't have to pull mats. You muck out your solids. 
nose it up a little bit and you can still come through the escape door and just power wash out you really don't have to angle it too much but i still like to put a little bit of angle on it just to try to keep water moving back um, but as you start power washing this out you're going to notice that that stuff goes straight through the floor so urine and any other liquid is going to get through the floor it's going to keep the trailer a lot cleaner in general just because of that uh, but this has a lot of grip to it even when it's wet it's got a lot of grip uh, but who wants to wrestle mats i can tell you i don't so that is definitely a nice feature to have there now some customers might say hey that's fantastic that's the exact trailer i want but you know i have to have a rear ramp my horse is only loaded with a rear ramp or i want that versatility to maybe haul some toys with it um, we can add a rear ramp to it, just remove the rubber bumper, it folds up over the back doors. Maybe you want a hay rack added to this. We can add those type of items to these trailers after the fact. So we can do a lot of customization when we're building the trailer, but then we can actually take a, a trailer on the lot and put some add-ons to it to get it exactly how you want. And maybe you're not having to wait as long to get that finished product itself. Okay, so we have load lights again, one above the wheel well, one above the front tack door. And then here's our escape door jumping into that first stall. So with that stud divider there, and it goes clear to the floor, you could actually use this for additional storage, maybe throw some hay, some bedding, muck buckets, just items like that. Maybe a cooler. We don't have to worry about them getting underneath horses and in, in transit. And then you can access it with the escape door right here. Then on the back side, of that trainer tack that we saw on the other side there, we have a front dressing room. So again, five foot short wall, good heavy duty door. We got a brush tray on it. We went ahead and got you a fold up step as well, going into this one. One item that we went in and added was a shelf on this back wall here with a lip, just to throw some items up there. It'll keep them from shifting. There's also carpet up there. Um, but nice to have a little bit of extra storage, just something up out of the way. There's all that Vortex lining again. With a Stockman, on their standard models, you're going to get a tire changing ramp. That comes standard with these standard, um, whether it's a Stockman or a Riot model that Logan makes. Then you've got a boot box on the drop wall here. Great for some smaller items so they're not shifting around. You can use it as a bench, but then you can also hop into the nose. It works as a step jumping up there. So good size nose as well with this trailer being 7'3 wide. You know, you could get a mattress in there. You gotta, it's gotta be able to kind of fold up to get it in to this opening here. Uh, throw some bed rolls, throw some mattresses. You've got LED light up at the nose. You've got windows on each side to create a little bit of a cross breeze. And then directly above me is going to be a clothes rod so we can hang some clothes here keeping things nice and organized as you're going to the show themselves and then there's another light right inside the door there so again you have plenty of led lights throughout the trailer um, last thing you want to be able to do is be trying to work in the dark whether it's in your tack room in your stall area uh, or even just on the exterior of the trailer itself and there's a good look at that silver so again, with the black framed windows, all the plexiglass, the vortex lining, that's where we felt like those wheels really tie everything together, uh, make it a sharp looking trailer. Um, but what a cool setup. Again, 26 foot combo, front dressing room, trainer tack, and then you've got the dividers with the center gate. So a lot of versatility and flexibility within that stall area um, as far as the trailer goes itself. That's what is so cool about stock combos is just all the different things you can actually do with these trailers. So I'm going to give you the stock number on this one for reference. It is a 2023 Logan Coach Stockman Combo 5N221872. So if you're interested in this trailer, just give us a call and you can reference that stock number and we can help you out there. So we have some other ones, again, available. We have some on order and we can always build just something as well so we do take trade-ins whether you're looking to upgrade or even downsize we can help you out there financing is available and then delivery we can actually bring this trailer directly to your door so give us a call anybody on the sales team can help you out that number is 
3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.